Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back once again, and I'm gonna test these goddamn keto meters again to see what they come up with. I, um, last time they came out exactly the same at 0.6. I don't even know if I'm still in ketosis. It doesn't really matter as long as they come out the same, right? It doesn't matter if I'm in or out. We just want to test it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get a little blood here. Ready? Ow! There's a little droplet of blood. I'm going to go on the uh, Keto Mojo first. Boop. There we go. Go on this one. There we go. Now the race is on. Let's see. 1.0, what do we got over here? Four, three, two, one, it's like New Year's Eve. 0.6, see? So this one's lower again, a little bit lower. Uh, still in ketosis, but man, oh man, there's definitely a discrepancy here. So uh, it leads me to wonder again, like I said, I talked to the owner of this company today, the Keto Mojo, and um, he's really got his shit together as far as why he made this, how he made it, the reasoning behind it. Like I said, this is an old school one made by a pharmaceutical company. Um, it could be super accurate, but then again, like you order these strips from Amazon and they come from all over the world. So you have no idea where these strips were kept. Uh, these strips right here, I know that Dorian actually keeps them in a temperature controlled environment throughout the entire shipment process. So from where they make them, all the way until it ends up at your house. He knows that they're under 85 degrees. If they're over 85 degrees, it can expose um, whatever's on here and make it, uh, make it vary. So we don't want that. So anyway, it's up to you guys what you guys want to use to test. Um, I'm going to try to stick with the Keto Mojo and see how I do. Thank you.